Well, so the objective of this uh, lesson is to understand the concept linked with the hypothesis testing using a t-test. Now, um, logically speaking, when you find out the expression, now uh, the z and t, so when you say hypothesis, uh, either you take two paths, which is z-test or either you use t-test. Now, when you take the z-test, uh, the mean and the, the standard deviation for the entire population is given. While if you're using t-test, your mean for the population, mean and deviation for the population is not known to you. So this is not known. So in this context, you use the t-test. The now, what are the statistics that are required here and some of the things that you, you can be careful about? Now, the, the, the formulas are pretty much the similar. The, the procedure is pretty much the similar. The first step and second step, you suggest the hypothesis. And here we talk about something called as degree of freedom, which is n minus one time. I mean, n minus one, uh, suppose if I got, let's say, a certain sample. Now here, n minus one is the degree of freedom because that's what you require here. Now, uh, let us take example in order to understand the hypothesis here. So first, let's, the first example here is, so the first example here is the, let's say, um, the fat content for 30 random uh, selected pastries at the local bakery was recorded. So this is the, this is the 30 samples they have recorded. And for a fat mean content of the pastries mean, uh, perform a two-tail hypothesis, whether the, whether the, the mean weight of the fat is uh, not 30 grams or, or not equals to 30 grams. So, so our first thing is that you got to take the test here. So the null hypothesis is that, okay, assume that there is the, the average weight is 30. And so the alternate hypothesis is that average weight is not 30 because here they haven't specified whether you're testing for fat content more than 16. So um, our significance level is 10%, which is, it means that the probability of, I mean, the critical level is uh, 0.1. The sample size is 30. So you have taken 30 values here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna feed these values in the table in the, in the uh, statistics. So let's see how first, how do we do this on table? Uh, now, so to get the t-test done directly on calculator, you first uh, feed the values, go under statistics. You feed the values, all 30 values into a table, which is list one. So once you feed these values, uh, you press test, not t-test. Now you press one sample. Now you have two choices. You can directly feed the list or you can feed the values of individual uh, like outcomes that, that you get after calculating the averages and all those stuff. So here you feed, I, I prefer to feed, feed directly the list and the, the alternate hypothesis is mean is not equals to mu naught. Mu naught is uh, here that I have taken is uh, actually the fat content is around 15%. I mean, uh, fat content is 16 that they had asked us to do. And then you don't need to change anything else. So when you do this, what happens is if you execute the, the probability that you're getting is around uh, 69%, which, which means that uh, you have, you have um, uh, very little ch chance of rejecting H0 because your probability is much higher than what, what, uh, what we got. And the, the mean value is 59 and all those stuff. Uh, so, so let's just conclude our, our result. So as you can see that the probability that I got is 69, close to 69%, which is much higher than um, 0.1. So, so this means that you don't have, uh, uh, don't have enough evidence to reject H0. So you've got to accept H0. It means that the fat content is not uh, like, you know, you cannot say that fat content is not 16. So, so, that, so the claim that, that was made uh, uh, for fat not equals to 16 is incorrect. So let's take another example on, on t-test. So, um, so here is a question that says in 2017, the average house price was $2,35,000. In 2019, a sample of 200 house was taken and the sample mean was found to be this much and the standard deviation of the sample was 30,000. Using a critical value to determine um, the, whether there is the evidence of 5% that the average house price has changed. 
So, so what you do is you take mean equals to uh, H naught is that mean is uh, two two lakh thirty five thousand, and H one is mean has mean price has changed. The significance level is five percent. Uh, the number of sample that you've taken is two hundred. So you can calculate t value manually like this using this formula, which is um, your x bar minus mean or uh, the sigma, which is s x here uh, over root n. Uh, sigma or root and you can say so so you can use this formula to calculate t value or you can directly get on on calculator so let's see how to do this question on on calculator under t test so to give the final conclusion what we do is we go under uh, once again just to see go under uh, test one t test one sample so mean uh, not equals to mu not the, you put the mu naught is two lakh thirty five thousand, uh, x bar is two lakh fifteen thousand, and standard deviation is thirty thousand, and n is two hundred. Uh, so here, just just put the value of the the deviation of the sample. Don't uh, um, put anything else here. Now, apart from that, if you just go down here and say execute, now you got the the p value is coming close to zero. Now, since it is coming close to zero, it is, it is. It, so you can say that H naught is is basically uh, uh, rejected. So reject H naught and accept the H one hypothesis. So it means that the prices of the property have changed. Now you could also give this conclusion based on the T values that you got. So now I'm just going to show to you how we could do, do using T value. So, so we could give the um, uh, conclusion using t values. So first is you got to find other critical t values. So I would say decide t critical based on the area, like because five percent area. Uh, so each area will get divided in zero point zero two five. So I'm going to find out what is the critical t first. Okay. So so you go under uh, now statistics. You go under statistics. Uh, you go under distribution. You go under t distribution inverse t. You put the area as 0 0.025 and a uh, degree of freedom as 199. So what we get is uh, the value of T, which is I'm getting here is 1.9719. And here it is one point, negative 1 1.9719. Now, when you found out the T value that you got uh, actually in your experiment, uh, is is here. If you look at the, the test that we did just now, uh, our test statistics is uh, according to test statistics, our t value is negative 9.42. So negative 9.42 that you got here is actually somewhere here. It means that it is in critical region. So that you could reject the hypothesis based on t values as well. So this value is negative 9.42. It means that you're in rejection region. So you, you got to reject null hypothesis and accept H1. So I hope this is helpful. This is about the t-test and z-test. In the next video, I'm gonna uh, talk about the paired t-test and z-test. Thank you.